All right, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply radical binomials. We got two terms right here, so that's a binomial. Two terms right here, another binomial. We're gonna multiply them together. So if I'm gonna multiply both of these terms times both of these terms, I know that the square root of two needs to multiply by both over here. I also know that negative five is gonna to need to multiply by both of these terms over here. We're just gonna be distributing, boom, boom, and then boom, boom. Okay, we call that the FOIL method. So our first term in each binomial being multiplied, our outside terms, our inside terms, and our last terms. Okay, you should already know the FOIL method by now if you're going into this type of stuff. So now you're just doing the FOIL method, but with radicals. Okay, so how are we gonna attack this? We're gonna say square root of two times the square root of two. Well, if you think about it, the square root of something means this times itself. So if you were to square, let's say square root of two, and you were to multiply it by itself, essentially you're doing this. Now, know that the square root in an exponent of two are inverse operations. They're going to eliminate one another, leaving you with just two. I'm gonna take the square root of two and I'm gonna multiply it by the square root of 10, which is gonna give me a positive square root of, what I said 10, excuse me, square root of two multiplied by the square root of five, which is gonna result in, that's sorry, that's where the 10 came from. It's gonna result in the square root of 10. Two times five is 10, put the radical around it. Okay, so far so good. Now we're gonna do negative square root of five times the square root of two. A negative times a positive makes a negative. Five times two is 10, so we're gonna put 10 inside of the radical. And last but not least, a negative times a positive is a negative. Five times five is 25. This is a perfect square, so I'm just going to change the square root of 25 into a five. All right, so now what I have is this. I've got two plus the square root of 10 minus the square root of 10 minus five. I'm looking at a positive square root of 10 and a negative square root of 10. Those are gonna combine and make zero. They're gonna cancel one another out. So this is gonna go away with that, leaving me with just two minus five. And hopefully we all know two minus five is equal to negative three. So taking all of this and simplifying it down to a constant of negative three. Study hard, FOIL method, first, outside, inside, last. Radicals, nothing's really gonna change. You're just following the same steps with the FOIL method with some things that you need to know about. Five times two, making it 10, put it around the radical. All right, study hard.